my friends. As you've probably gathered from the title of this video and from the opening footage, the forest that I've been shooting in just up the road from where I live, in a, just down the coast in Athens, caught fire about 10 days ago. We've only the last couple of days been allowed up here at all and the devastation is horrific and uh, very very upsetting oh. I really have been wanting to make this video now for the last week I'm not sure I have the words for it so so much despondency for what happened here this is the ravine that I've been filming and shooting at down here and as you can see a lot of the mountain forest has gone all the green has gone and the entire ravine is burnt and bare and pretty much devoid of life so many animals have been lost. I haven't found any foxes or badgers or anything after walking through and I hope not to find any either. It's bad enough finding all the tortoises along the way which had no opportunity whatsoever to escape the flames. The foxes I guess and the, uh, maybe the badger could move out of the way, run away from it everything else, all the snakes and lizards and tortoises, they all just burnt in place. And one of the really upsetting things for me is that a few weeks ago, a few weeks, a couple of months now actually, when I was setting up the trail cams and the camera trap to try and capture a fox or a badger or something along the ravine here, I don't know if you remember, if you watched that video, but, uh, if you recall me seeing spotting a sparrowhawk and I kept that in mind that um, that brief sighting because uh, when I saw it it was carrying a twig in its mouth which meant that it was nesting along here and it took me a good couple of weeks of searching up and down every single tree in the ravine here and I eventually found its nest and I set up the trail cam on a close by tree uh, to observe the nest because when I actually found the nest it was empty so I wasn't a hundred percent sure when I located the nest that it was the sparrowhawks so and it looked actually like it was a previous year's nest abandoned so I set up the trail cam and let it run for a, for a week and during that week I caught male and female sparrowhawk coming to the nest uh, no eggs yet and I thought, you know what, I'm going to take down the... I took down the trail cam basically because I didn't want to disturb them any more than absolutely necessary. And I let them be for all this time I've been letting them be, not coming to the area at all. So that they could get on with laying their eggs and starting to raise their chicks this month. And um, I had planned to come, not this week, next week, to actually see if... Uh, any chicks had hatched and to maybe film them and uh, get some photos and it was basically just back here you see the bluff along here that was I was going to, planning to walk up the, on the other side of the ravine here and I could actually see down into the nest from the opposite side and it would have been a good spot without disturbing them at all and a raised point, uh, you know, point of elevation to actually see down into the nest and the nest is now gone. Hopefully the, uh, the sparrowhawks, they flew off, so they survived to uh, fight another day, but everything else is gone. And it's just exceptionally sad. So, yeah, that's the news from here. Um, not beautiful photography or filming or anything like that, just sad news. 
that I wanted to share. So, anyway, okay. Hopefully in the coming weeks I'll be able to provide some uh, slightly more positive, happier video and photography for you to enjoy. So until then, I'll say bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.